Hey, what is going on you guys? It is Mr. No Sleep here from Old School RuneScape and welcome to a brand new video for you all today. So today we have loot from 1000 Demonic Gorillas and I wanted to do Demonic Gorillas for a while now. You know the last time I actually killed Demonic Gorillas was close to two years ago uh, when I did 30 hours of them and if I recall my RNG wasn't too good for that video even though it was a very long time ago. Um, but yeah, kind of, you know, just gave me the idea since it's been so long to maybe try them out one more time you know do 1000 kills flat see what they drop as it goes for normal drops and see if we can get lucky maybe get a zenite shard or something like that so yeah i hope you guys enjoy the video uh this was suggested in the last upload and i think the video before that as well lately i've actually been pulling a lot of ideas from you guys uh for these videos so if you ever want to leave a comment below on what you want to see done for a thousand kills as long as it doesn't take like an outrageous amount of time i will most likely do it so uh the more thumbs up on the comment especially i will We'll, uh, be looking towards those as well so yeah now as it goes for the clips throughout this video obviously a lot of banking you know involved uh, my kills per trip really just depended on how much I was paying attention um, sometimes I was watching shows sometimes I was listening to music when I was listening to music at demonic gorillas I was getting a lot more kills per hour because it's all based on concentration um, they have you know three melee style attacks melee range and magic every third hit they switch so as long as you're paying attention to that and as long as you're paying attention to the rocks that are falling uh, from the, you know, the ceiling or whatever you want to call it, uh, and, you know, you're not taking too much damage, then you can really capitalize and get a lot of kills per trip. I know some people that get 30, 40, 50 kills per trip, maybe. Uh, as you can see, I'm not one of them. You know, I died there, and, um, you know, before that death, as you guys saw there, we got Ballista Limbs, which was 1 in uh, 500, and then the Spring right there, which is also 1 in 500. So, yeah, that was the kill that I got as I came back to pick up my stuff. Um, I just decided to kill one, and there you go got my second drop of the video and the other rares that demonic gorillas drop that you haven't seen yet are a light frame which is the same price as the spring and the limbs about 30,000 GP which is one in 750 uh, there's also a heavy frame which is one in 1500 and a monkey tail which is one in 1500 so you guys will see later on throughout this video if we did manage to get any of those always got to give a shout out to the Iron Man account I was at mother load mine throughout the whole making of this video as well no XP waste and uh, yeah now as it goes for the normal drop other than the rares as you guys can see pretty good drops you know pretty good items that can be used on Iron Man accounts and also just good items that can be sold for decent prices um, you know a lot of herbs good amount of seeds javelin heads bars gems things like that uh, as you can see there, we got another Ballista Spring. So I was getting a decent amount of rares other than the Zenite Shard early on. And uh, I don't know, I wasn't losing motivation or anything, but I was just surprised to see uh, so so many drops that are especially more um, more of a drop rate than a Zenite Shard is. So yeah, I also got all of my Dragon Scimitar drops on vid. I'm not too sure why I did that, but hey man, you got to get some clips somehow. Uh, and there you go, the Zenite Shard. That was around kill, um, I'm pretty sure 400 or so. Just a little bit above the drop rate, not too bad. And I was excited, you know, 12.7 mil, that's a pretty big boost, uh, considering all the other drops are significantly lower than that. Yeah, and as you can see there, I did manage to pick up almost everything. I was picking up the Javelin Shafts, which are 1 GP each, and they don't even sell for 1 GP, so pretty much worthless. And I was also picking up the Ceridoman Brew 2s. Uh, just wanted to get a very accurate representation of a thousand kills, you know, what you guys can expect. Um, you know, I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that are going to get a lot more efficient kills per hour than I was. I think my kills per hour were pretty good, though. I was using an arc light and luckily for me I had 10,000 charges in it so I had pretty much everything that I needed for that I mean it does use quite a bit of ancient shards so be prepared to use those and especially have those banked and yeah, speaking of shards and all that, we got another one, Zenite Shard number two. Um, that was pretty early on. It was just about 100 kills after my second one, I think, or maybe less than that. RNG varies for everyone, but seeing a 1 in 300 drop to a monster that you can kill semi-quickly, uh, being about 13 mil or so, definitely motivating, you know, and it's not out of reach at all, especially when it's only 1 in 300, so keep that in mind. Uh, here we got 777 million XP, followed by an Elite Clue Scroll. Uh, Demonic 
Gorillas do drop Elites, it's 1 in 500, and they also drop Hard Clue Scrolls, which is 1 in 100. I myself usually just stick to doing Master Clues, but I figured for the video I might as well just do the Elites. They don't take too long, and luckily, uh, you know, they don't require any hot and cold steps, so yeah, much faster than Master Clues. Uh, managed to hit 70 million Strength XP here, you know, most of my post-99 XP and all my combat stats are from really just PVMing all these years, just making numerous videos about numerous things. Uh, it's crazy to see 70 million strength XP. I wonder if I'm ever going to hit 200 mil one day. I'm genuinely curious. Uh, and the only other, you know, untradeable drop, other than those clue scrolls that I mentioned before, and hopefully you guys just saw, um, I was managing to get a few spirit seeds, which are really good for farming XP, and I managed to get, I think, six different spirit seed drops, which was pretty cool. But not as cool as the light frame. There you go. One in 750. And that was my reaction. I just kind of said, oh. And also kind of a unique or rare item that I got was a rune battle axe. Uh, must be on the rare drop table or something because only managed to get one throughout the whole video. And um, as I mentioned before, you know, it's all about what gear you bring. You know, this guy had a Carol's crossbow and black dehyde. But keep in mind, he did have a slayer helmet on. So you can get these assigned as a slayer task if you manage to get black demons. Um, you can pretty much just swap them out for demonic gorillas instead. So much, much uh, better profit per hour. Not as AFK, but you know, can't win with everything. And here's a fascinating clip of me playing Skull Ball, most miserable two minutes of my life, but it led to the completion of another Elite Clue Scroll, which was another 81k. So yes, love Clue Scrolls. And I do want to say this before someone in the comment section already types it out. Um, there is a way that you can kill demonic gorillas that uh, is easier than the way I'm killing them. And what I mean by that is if you have a third party client, I don't know if it's Rune Light or OS Buddy or something like that. Um, I know that there is a third party client out there that a lot of people use and they have a function on that client that pretty much helps you out with demonic gorillas. I don't know if it tells you what attack they're about to do, but I certainly know that there are better uh, clients out there to use for certain things like demonic gorillas, just like there's certain clients out there to use that are faster for clue scrolls, you know, compared to the original old school client, which is pretty much the only thing that I use. Anyways, getting back to the video, there's another Ballista Spring. Uh, didn't really want to see that, you know, I'd much rather see a Zenite Shard, but I was just nice to see another drop, you know, more clips and more of a loot tab to show. Uh, and then, as I mentioned before, 1 in 1,500 drop Monkey Tail. And as I typed in the chat, because I was really genuinely surprised, um, as a matter of fact, I don't know if I mentioned this, but I looked at the drop table after I did this video, so I had no idea that a Monkey Tail was even a thing. I mean, I knew you could build a heavy ballista. I just forgot that a tail was involved, I guess. So yeah, I was really, really surprised to see that. I've never had one in my life until that moment. So it was, I guess it was a small accomplishment. Another small accomplishment throughout the making of this video, I only died two times and that was my almost third, you know, one HP teleport out. That was actually my second time teleporting out with one HP. But yeah, it didn't die too many times. You know, like I said, as long as you're paying attention, you should be okay. Um, I was just listening to a lot of things to kill time throughout the making of this. And and uh, yeah, I was getting pretty good RNG with the Elite Clue Scrolls as well. This was the most expensive reward I got, it was 124k. I didn't really factor that into the price check of a thousand kills because I know that not everyone can do Elite Clue Scrolls, so I just kind of leave that as a miscellaneous thing. And as it goes for the overall experience, um, definitely had fun with this one. You know, like I mentioned, it was a lot of clicking, a lot of concentration, but it was really rewarding. The money was very good, and there's the last drop of the video was Ballista Limbs. Um, this was right before I finished, and yeah, unfortunately, we didn't manage to get another Zenite Shard. But keep in mind, you know, we did get two before 500 kills was up, I'm pretty sure, or at least close to it. So that's pretty good RNG, especially in the beginning, and it was uh, keeping the motivation pretty strong. And 1,000 kills was complete from 2,126 to 3,126 kills. And now for my favorite part of the video, the time has come for the price check. How much money did we manage to make from 1,000 demonic gorillas? I wish I could give you guys an hour time on this, but I really didn't track how much time I invested into this video. All I will say is it took about three days of playing very, very casually. Uh, so yeah, the first price check came out to be 15.8 mil. That was the first one, and I did bring out the calculator to make sure we got everything accurate. Um, but yeah, all the normal drops, 15.8 mil. As you guys, you know, saw, I didn't really get to add in all the items, but I did have the dragon skims, the rune items, and the rares still to go. So here's the big price.
price check 15.8 mil plus 33.7 mil rounded up you got about 16 mil and just about 34 mil from two different price checks meaning that 1000 demonic gorillas has come out to be just about 50 mil profit minusing about three to four mil in supplies i would say that this video was definitely a success demonic gorillas very profitable whether you get a rare or not definitely worth killing thank you very much for watching the video guys and no we are not going to hit 10 minutes until next time mr no sleep out